Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another topic on gemstones. I rarely make videos on gemstones, and I have made one or maybe two videos till now. But somebody asked me recently in some video that which is the best gemstone for me, mm -hmm. or which are the best or not worse at least, which are the good gemstones that I should take, which will help me uplift my life, my consciousness and my finances or career marriage, which, which one of them. All right, so there are many gemstones as you know. Uh, I will not keep listing all of them here. You can search them, which gemstone is for which planet, which finger you should wear it, how you should wear it, when you should wear it, all this you can talk to your <coughs> mentor or your local astrologer and they will guide you properly regarding this uh, much better than me but what i want to speak here is some principles which will help you to judge which gemstone you should take okay. so first of all you have to understand when you talk of gemstones what does it mean what does a gemstone do you have to understand that okay if you don't understand that you will be going round and round and nothing will make sense okay so what does a gemstone do so when you wear a gemstone here in your hand or in your neck or as a bracelet or wherever what happens is suppose you wear a, a emerald which is green color which is known as panna and this is for mercury okay so what does it mean when you wear an emerald what happens exactly so it means that because you are wearing that gemstone, the, your body, your mind becomes more receptive to the energy of mercury. That strengthens your mercury. Okay. Now I'm very careful with my words. When I say strengthen, I don't mean to say that improves your mercury. Okay. There's a difference. So what does it mean? It means that if you have a problem in mercury, it will strengthen the problem also. Okay, so long story short, whatever the planet is indicating, whatever, whichever area, whichever area it indicates progress or downfall, all these will happen simultaneously with you because that planet becomes very strong. It's like he comes and sits on your head now because now you are inviting that planet exclusively by wearing that gemstone, okay. So therefore, um, if you if you have any planet which is uh, good for one area and which is not good for another area of life, then you have to be very careful when you take that gemstone because the area which it is good for that will rise, and that area which it is not good for, you will have a downfall in that area. Okay. So let's talk with some examples. So for the best example in this case is the 10th house. So suppose you have uh, Saturn in the 10th house, for example, okay. whichever lagna, any lagna, 10th. And then you wear uh, Neelam, blue sapphire, which is the supposed gemstone for Saturn. And then what will happen is, let's assume that Saturn is in the 10th house of your Bhava chart, not lagna chart, okay? Do not get into blunders with lagna chart when it comes to gemstones. It's a real serious business. Okay. Um, it's really, really, really serious because the results that a planet gives comes from the house where it sits in, the bhava, which is seen from the bhava chart, okay? Not from the rashi, not from the lagna chart, okay? So now many of you, as usual, you are aware of what bhav chart is and I can understand that because that's rarely talked. So you can type exotic astrology, bhava chart, B-H-A-A-V-C-H-A-R-T. You will find that video. I, I've explained in detail there what bhav chart is and how do you read a bhav chart. Okay? Especially for gemstones, you must use bhav chart. There is no question of lagna chart. Just throw out your lagna chart. Just dismantle it. Don't use it. Don't even look at it. Just see the bhav chart. Right? That is all you need to do when you are talking about gemstone. So, therefore, the first thing that you need to ask yourself is, 
which is that area of my life which I want to enhance. Okay. So, are you having problems in marriage? Are you having problems in career? Are you having problems in health? Okay. So, then, so let's talk of marriage. So, if you are talking of marriage, then which are the houses or planets that improve your married life? The planets which are linked to the 2nd, 7th and 11th, they improve your married life. So in the Bhava chart, the lords of these houses, all the planets sitting in these houses, they can improve your marriage. Okay, Or the planets which are sitting in nakshatras lauded by these planets. So for example, if... Uh, Saturn is in your third house, but he is sitting in the nakshatra of a planet which is sitting in the second, seventh, or eleventh. Then, although Saturn is in the third, but by nakshatra he indicates the good houses of marriage. So, then your married life can definitely improve. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, take a gemstone of a planet which is sitting in the second, seventh, or eleventh or lording. Okay, only next level is of the nakshatras. Okay, so. If it sounds very complicated and alien, then please watch my nakshatra videos. You will uh, understand what I'm saying. There I explain in detail. Okay. So that's so if that is the area that you want to improve, then this is how you select a gemstone. Okay. So identify that planet which is uh, very good for your marriage, which very strongly indicates by lordship or by planetary position or by nakshatra, these three houses, the second, seventh, and eleventh. Then if you want to progress in career, you have to check the 2nd, 6th, 10th and 11th. Okay, But among them, 6th and 10th are very dangerous. Why do I say dangerous? Because although they are houses of marriage, uh, sorry, career progress, but they are denying your marriage. Okay, So if you are planning to get married during this time, then uh, during this time means if you are of marriageable age, so then it is not very recommended to take these gemstones. Okay? At least for the first five years of your married life, it's uh, it could be very detrimental for you. Uh, but you can take gemstones of the planets which are signifying the second or eleventh because they help both in uh, career and as well as marriage. Okay, so uh, the now for ten thousand six thousand you can take, uh, but that should be taken in uh, extreme scenarios like. You are really under a financial crisis or something like this. Otherwise, I never, never, never recommend them stones or planets which indicate the sixth and the uh, or the tenth, okay? Because that can lead to severe crisis in your married life, which which makes your life very imbalanced, okay? Then, when you are talking of childbirth, then which are the houses of childbirth? The second, fifth, ninth, and eleven. So, the planets which signify these houses. The second house, fifth house, ninth house, and the eleventh house by lordship position or by nakshatra. These are the planets whose gemstone you should take. Okay, you could take. Then let's talk of health. Which are the houses which indicate good health? The fifth house is the house of cure. It's the twelfth from the sixth house of disease. Okay, and the ninth house is the house which is the fifth from the fifth. So the trines support your health. They make you more healthier. Okay. So planets which indicate these houses, these gemstones you can take, you will benefit from them hugely, largely. And if you want to talk of property, then something which indicates the fourth house or um, yeah, fourth house, eleventh house, twelfth house, these these gemstones could be good for you. Uh, these planetary gemstones. So that's how you decide which gemstone is good for you. Okay. And do not worry much about the sign. So many times people say that uh, my son is in debility. Okay. So uh, should I take a ruby? So my question to you is, son is in debility, but which house is son in? Okay. So if you are a Capricorn Lagna and son is in your 10th house, then you are warned before that this could be very detrimental for your married life. But if suppose you have Sun in Scorpio as a Capricorn Lagna, it's the uh, sign in the 11th house, Scorpio. So then that could be really very good for you. Okay. Now, I'm not blindly saying that for anything, you just go and see the 11,000 planets sitting there because you have to go to level 2 and nakshatras. And uh, by no ways and means, as a disclaimer, I would say this video is meant to put in 
10 gemstones in your hand okay without knowing any astrology or kick out all the gemstones okay no 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 this has to be decided after a personal consultation with your astrologer only this is just for educational purposes okay my very strong disclaimer here all right so listen to the principles which i'm saying but if you are not very well aware of astrology do not speculate don't think you are an expert if you are, it's great. But if you are not, if you have an iota of doubt, please don't do this analysis yourself. This is one area where you must be really, really, really crucial. Okay. And maybe the first time I am mentioning this area because if you take a gemstone which indicates by nakshatra the Dustana houses, the 6th, 8th, and 12th, very badly, then this can literally ruin your life. Any area of life you take. Okay. Because these are the worst houses. These are the only bad houses. These are the only houses which create downfall. They can give you anxiety. They give you panic attacks. They give you depression. They give you insomnia, sleeplessness, whatever, like murder, abuse, like loss of money, anything, scandal, anything is under these three houses. So be very careful when you take gemstones, okay? So if you do not know how to select, please don't do it just by seeing this video because if you do something, then I will get karma, all right? So don't punish me uh, for your actions, okay? So please talk to your uh, personal astrologer and only then you should uh, decide. This is a very strong disclaimer from my side, all right? So therefore, uh, you have to understand that um, if you take a gemstone, then whatever the planet signifies, if the planet signifies depression, that will also increase, okay? So therefore... Uh, if you're seeing the good side, don't forget the bad side also. Now, there are extraordinary situations where you really need to progress in one area of life, okay? So suppose you're married, but you're not having uh, any money to feed your family. Then, well, what do you do? Then you, you could take a gemstone which signifies the 6th and the 10th. Of course, after consulting with your astrologer, okay? Very important. Why? Because... Um, if, if you are not able to maintain your family only, uh, then uh, I mean that will anyways create a lot of problems in your married life later, right? Uh, not your married life, but the, the family uh, circumstances will be disturbed, especially in Kaliuga, because in Kaliuga people have lofty goals, lofty aims, lofty lifestyle, all right? That is why they are miserable all the times. So, in such a uh, extraordinary situation in such an emergency you could take a gemstone which signifies the six or the ten but for normal people please 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 do not take i have seen marriages breaking apart because of these two houses okay please abstain from taking gemstones ah if you are a celibate and you are having a lifestyle like a monk or you're in a temple and you have no connection with the opposite sex then it's the opposite then you must take gemstones which signify these two houses okay so it depends on your lifestyle and what you want and uh, it depends on so many things basically, okay? So uh, sometimes uh, there are planets uh, which signify these houses, especially the 5th, 9th and 11th. So these three houses are universally good for anything and everything, okay? Universally. So um, if you want to generally improve your life, your you know self-esteem, your confidence and all this and you just want to be a bit more happier, then you can take gemstones which indicate these houses, the 5th, 9th, and 11th, okay? But apart from this, any other house, okay? Very crucial, all right? Be very, very, very crucial. Even I'm talking of the second house. The second house is one of the houses of depression because uh, it shows your belongings, okay? And uh, when a person is depressed, he or she may feel that I don't belong to any place or anybody or any family, okay? So be very careful when you take a gemstone related to the second house also, okay? Now, you may think I'm creating fear, but I'm just trying to caution it because I've seen lives being ruined because of gemstones, okay? And at the end, you must remember that uh, whatever, whichever gemstone you take, that does not change your destiny, okay? Many times people say that in uh, India, there's a, a famous actor, I won't take his name, he had taken a gemstone of Saturn and then uh, people think that his career uh, started shooting after he had taken this gemstone. 
these are these are all false um, uh, propaganda which is uh, everywhere all right so don't think that uh, karma is so stupid that you can just uh, cheat cheat it by you know putting some stones in your hand okay that doesn't work like that all right now then you may ask then why should i take them stones at all well i say if a planet is good in a particular area of life and it does not hamper other areas then what's the harm in taking it okay. of course i don't recommend and i also don't have gemstones of course i had long back but due to some reason i had uh, opened it so i'm not against gemstones but i'm against this fact that taking on gemstone hampers could hamper another area of life if it is not done carefully so i am very much against this okay so if you have planets which are not affecting other areas of your life like married life when you talk of career then you can take it and go ahead absolutely fine no uh, no problems with that okay so that is what this is my uh, this is my outlook on gemstones and i have made videos on gemstones one or two videos i will try to put them here all right Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below, and my website for consultations are also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look for him, and you'll find him. And if you want to view other videos on gemstones, I'll put them here. Right. Thank you.